The Universal Greeting Hi! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Whatever time it is for you in your geographical location, you're welcome to the Start Here with Jefferson YouTube channel. About Start Here with Jefferson Hi, my name is Jefferson. You are on a journey because life is a journey, not a destination. It doesn't matter where you are going, it's whom you have beside you. You are ready for the journey, but you need a trustworthy guide for this journey. You need a mentor to show you the way. Together, we can make a difference. Together, we can achieve more. Let's go on the journey together. Start here with Jefferson. My purpose is to guide and lead you so you can attract and magnetize key people, key moments, key opportunities, key blessings, key resources, and key ideas that will propel you to your place of destiny. What do you want out of life? What are the things you are most passionate about? What are your greatest accomplishments in life? If your life had absolute no limits, what would you choose to have and what would you choose to do? Start here. The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. The hardest part of any journey is taking the first step. The unexamined life is not worth living. What do you want out of life? What are the things you are most passionate about? What are your greatest accomplishments in life? If your life had absolutely no limits, what will you choose to have and what will you choose to do? What are your goals in life? Whom do you admire most in the world and why do you admire them? What is your purpose in life? Where are you coming from and where are you going to? Change is necessary for continued growth. Where there is no change, there is no life. Your growth is the key to the life you desire. Your growth is the only guarantee that tomorrow will get better. My desire is to help you develop the right mental attitude to discover your true strength so you can tap into your passion to grow and become successful in your endeavors. Welcome to the start here with Inspiration 365. The start here with Inspiration 365 playlist on our YouTube channel, Start Here with Jefferson, offers a unique resource for those seeking motivation and inspiration in their daily lives. Our playlist features a diverse range of quotes from various sources, providing a broad perspective that can help you navigate life's challenges and pursue your goals with renewed enthusiasm. What sets our playlist apart is our approach to exploring the quotes beyond mere recitation. We've divided our insights on the quotes into different sections, such as the guide, the judgment, the key, the inspired quote, the thoughts, the application, the image, the authority, the potential reversal, and the conclusion. By doing so, we aim to equip you with a more profound understanding of the quotes and practical advice for applying their lessons in your daily life. Our structured approach to the playlist makes it easier for you to follow along and comprehend the message we're conveying. Additionally, it shows that we've put considerable thought and effort into curating the playlist, which can foster trust with you and our audience. Overall, Start Here with Inspiration 365 playlist is a valuable resource for anyone seeking inspiration and motivation in their lives, and we strive to continue offering high-quality content to our viewers. The title for this episode. 
The title for this week's Start Here with Inspiration 365 is Learning from Failure. About Learning from Failure Learning from failure is an essential part of personal and professional growth. It requires humility, resilience, and a willingness to embrace setbacks as opportunities for learning and improvement. By analyzing our mistakes and missteps, we gain valuable insights into our strengths and weaknesses, allowing us to make necessary adjustments and develop better strategies for the future. Failure teaches us the importance of perseverance and resilience, challenging us to overcome obstacles and approach challenges with renewed determination. It also encourages us to think creatively and explore alternative paths, fostering innovation and a growth mindset. Learning from failure is not limited to individuals but extends to organizations and societies that promote a culture of embracing failures as learning opportunities. Institutions can harness the collective wisdom gained from losses by creating an environment that encourages risk-taking and open dialogue about failures to drive positive change and progress. However, learning from failure requires humility and self-awareness. It demands that you set aside your ego, acknowledge your mistakes, and take responsibility for your actions. It involves resisting the temptation to dwell on failures but instead focusing on the lessons they provide and the growth opportunities they present. By embracing failure as valuable teachers, we can cultivate a mindset that propels us forward, helping us achieve our goals and reach our full potential. In summary, learning from failure equips us with the resilience, adaptability, and creativity to navigate life's challenges and achieve long-term success about this week's seven authors. Throughout the week, we have the privilege of featuring quotes from a diverse group of accomplished individuals. Our esteemed authors include LeBron James, Sumner Redstone, Henry Ford, Oprah Winfrey, Steve Harvey, Sir Richard Branson, and Walter Riston. We will share a thought-provoking quote from one of these influential figures daily. Additionally, we will briefly glimpse their remarkable journeys and accomplishments on their respective days. Prepare to be inspired by their wisdom, resilience, and invaluable insights on learning from failure. Stay tuned for a week filled with empowering words and the stories behind these extraordinary individuals. Today's subtitle The subtitle for today's Start Here with Inspiration 365 is Learning from Failure. Part 7 of 7. Today's Quotation Quote Failure is not a crime. Failure to learn from failure is. Unquote. Today's quote is by Walter Rinston about the author of today's quote. Walter Riston, born on August 3, 1919, in Middletown, Connecticut, was an American banker and former chairman of Citicorp, now Citigroup, one of the world's largest financial institutions. Riston is renowned for his influential role in modern banking and financial services. During his tenure, he championed the use of technology in banking and was a strong advocate for deregulation and globalization of the industry. Riston's leadership and visionary thinking contributed to Citicorp's growth and success. He also played a crucial role in developing the automated teller machine, ATM, revolutionizing how people access their funds. Riston's contributions to the banking sector have had a lasting impact on the industry and continue to be studied and admired by professionals in finance and business. The Judgment What are Riston's quote? Failure is not a crime. Failure to learn from failure is, carries a universal message that applies to various contexts. The quote challenges the notion that 
failure should be seen as a negative or shameful act. However, some critics may argue that the code oversimplifies the complexities of failure and the barriers you may face in the learning process. They may also question whether failure alone should be considered a crime or if it is necessary to emphasize learning from failure. The key. The key message in Walter Ristin's quote lies in the distinction between failure and failure to learn from it. The quote embodies the values of personal growth, accountability, and continuous learning. It highlights that failure is the natural part of life, but the absolute failure lies in not extracting lessons from those experiences. Acknowledging failure as a valuable teacher can cultivate resilience, adaptability, and improvement in various aspects of our lives. The application. In everyday life, what Aristin's code can be applied by embracing a mindset that reframes failure as an opportunity for growth and learning. It encourages you to reflect on your failures, identify the lessons, and actively incorporate them into future endeavors. By recognizing failure as a normal part of the journey towards success, you can overcome the fear and stigma associated with it. The code's application extends to areas such as education, career development, and personal relationships, where the ability to learn from failure can lead to more significant achievements and personal development. The image. What the Aristin Scott metaphorically invokes the image of failure as a crossroad. It symbolizes a choice between stagnation or growth. The language used in the code emphasizes the significance of learning from failure and suggests that failure alone is not inherently damaging or criminal. Visually, the code can be represented through images of a person standing at a fork in the road, with one part representing failure without learning and the other represented growth and improvement through learning from failure. The potential reversal. In specific contexts, the code's message might be challenged by cultural or social norms that heavily stigmatize failure or discourage the exploration of failures. Some people or societies may view failure as a mark of incompetence or perceive it as unacceptable. Additionally, systemic factors such as lack of resources or support can hinder the ability to learn from failure. While the code's core message remains valid, it is essential to consider the diverse perspectives and challenges you may face when attempting to apply the code's message. The conclusion In conclusion, what Aristin's quote reminds us that failure should not be seen as a crime but rather as an opportunity for growth and learning. By embracing failure and actively learning, you can overcome barriers, develop resilience, and continually improve yourself. The quote encourages a mindset that values personal growth and accountability, highlighting the importance of extracting lessons from failure. Ultimately, Learning from failure becomes a powerful tool in navigating life's challenges and achieving success. A message from Jefferson As we reach the end of this video, I want to express my sincere appreciation to all of you for being a part of this wonderful community. Thank you for watching, engaging, and being active participants in the discussions. I would like to take a moment to address our comment section. We value your thoughts, opinions and feedback and we encourage you to share them in the comments below. However, please know that we moderate our comments 
to ensure a respectful and inclusive environment for everyone. By moderating the comments, we aim to foster meaningful discussions, promote positive interactions, and prevent any form of harassment, discrimination, or offensive language. Our goal is to create a space where everyone feels comfortable expressing their ideas and engaging with others. We believe in the power of constructive dialogue and the opportunity for diverse perspectives to enrich our understanding. So, while we may remove comments that violate our guidelines, we strive to maintain an open and welcoming atmosphere for all. I want to thank you for your understanding and cooperation in helping us create a safe and respectful community. Your participation is instrumental in making this channel an inspiring and inclusive space for everyone. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay connected, I invite you to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell. By doing so, you will be notified whenever we release new content, ensuring that you never miss out on valuable insights and discussions. Once again, thank you for your support and engagement and for being a part of this incredible journey. Together, let's continue to learn, grow and uplift one another with heartfelt gratitude. Jefferson. <music>